This is a trial for first degree murder, one of our most serious charges. And as such, the burden of proof is high. Usually in a typical murder case, we have forensic evidence, witness testimony, and compelling arguments to show a defendant had the means, method, premeditation, okay, I like to start. I like to start. commit the murder. Today, in about one hour's time, we heard many things. We heard that Vinny Pistone is a snitch. We heard about Crystal Clear's addiction to lean. We heard that Frank Sinatra ordered a hit on Dean Quincy that was executed by Mike Block. But that wasn't all. We heard all the dirty laundry aired today. And we hope that Mr. Percy Weaver in attendance has a whole lot of suspects to investigate for all sorts of things that were recorded on the record. What we didn't hear about was the murder. We did not hear how it was committed. We did not really hear about who committed it. We did not hear about a murder weapon. And we did not hear about the premeditation. We require criminal cases that come before this court to be proven beyond a reasonable doubt. This man could be found guilty and sentenced to death here today. Um. And there are no corners to be cut when deciding on his fate. Not only was reasonable doubt not shown here today, or sorry, not only was beyond a reasonable doubt not shown here today, this may not even have reached the level of probable cause. If you came before these courts requesting a warrant with this evidence, Mr. Faley, we may not have signed off on the warrant. Literally nothing in the evidence or testimony comes anywhere near the burden of proof required. You guys still want to shit on me for my witnesses being first... murdered and not showing up? You want to shit on me really about that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn I am it. Dan, in the middle of giving talking. my verdict, Dan. All right. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> Literally nothing in the evidence or testimony comes anywhere near the burden of proof required to find someone guilty of first degree murder beyond a reasonable doubt. This court has no other option but to find Mr. Quincy not guilty of first degree murder. Let's go! The prosecution requested we deliberate on second degree murder if Mr. Quincy is found not guilty of Let's first. Let's go! While second degree is obviously a lesser charge with a lower burden of proof, it still requires the factors of means, method, and opportunity. Again, while probable cause at best may have been shown today, beyond a reasonable doubt of any degree not of murder guilty! Was not shown, and we must find Mr. Quincy not guilty of second degree murder as well. No! That is the ruling of this court. Thank you everyone for your time. And Mr. Weaver, I wish you happy hunting with all this new information. What about, okay, more importantly, Woo! what about the lead?